Hello, this is Ron Clymer, and I live here in Tryon, North Carolina. I sell real estate up in Hendersonville. And this is my email address, ronclymer at yahoo.com. Phone number is 828-440-1064. Now the reason I start out by giving you that information is the only purpose of this is to help you learn to do the math that's on the North Carolina real estate exam. If you need help with your math, this is it. Now, I also have this website, www.NorthCarolinaExamReview.com. This is some additional help that you might need, and we'll talk about that later. But I want to start out talking about a concept in math that's just all over the exam. And that's the concept that this is what percent of that. Now this expresses itself on the exam several different ways. By the way, I'm going to erase these uh, contact information, but this is what percent of that. And the way you see that on the exam might be something not with numbers this simple. By the way, I like to do this with simple numbers. And I do it with my calculator as we go along. And by the way, you don't need any fancy calculator. If you spend more than 10 bucks for your calculator, you got a better one than you need. But I like to use simple numbers so you, you already know the answer before you start sometimes. But here's the deal. If you bought a house, or say a vacant lot, you bought a vacant lot for $100,000. That's the price, all right? And the commission, and the commission is $10,000. And the question is, the question is, what is the commission rate? The commission is, what is the commission rate? By the way, y'all probably noticed that I'm out in my own backyard. You know, I, I see all these people that have these fancy studios where they do uh, videos and stuff, and well, when there was a time when I had something a little fancier than this, but I'm just here to help you. This is free. I'm out in the backyard just showing you what you need to know. But the question is, the commission is what percent of the price? So anytime, anytime you see that, this is what percent of that? The formula is this over that, or this divided by that. So this is the commission, $10,000. So $10,000 is what percent of the price? $100,000. So this is what percent of that, all right? Let's try that on the calculator. Let's go to the calculator. $10,000 divided by $100,000 and the calculator says, now the calculator says 0.1 or 0.10. Now, once again, I hope I'm not getting too basic for anybody, but if the calculator says 0.1, if we convert that to a percent, we move the decimal over two places. So 0.1 or 0.10 is 10%. So this is what percent of that gives us the commission rate. Now, another way that you might see this on the exam, very likely, very, very likely on the exam, the test question says, you bought a house for $125,000. You sold it for $150,000. And the question is, what is percent of profit? What is your percent of profit? That's the question. By the way, I learned to do this in the fifth grade in elementary school. But it's the same concept. 
This is what percent of that? So basically, what's the this? The this is your profit. How much profit did you make? And the that is your cost. How much did you pay for it? By the way, I find that not too easy to remember. The way I learned it in the fifth grade, Miss White told us it's what you made over what you paid. And I figure that's because she knew us little fifth graders in Douglas, Georgia, probably didn't have a clue what profit or cost was. But we could sure understand what you made over what you paid. Well, what did you make on this deal? Well, you bought it for, or you sold it for 150. Let's subtract what you paid for it, 125. So what you made on this deal was $25,000. That's what you made. What'd you pay? 125,000. So you paid 125,000 and you made 25,000. Let's put that in the calculator, 25,000, divided by 125,000, and my calculator says 0.2, which is 20%. So that is a 20% profit. This is what percent of that, what you made over what you paid, what you made over what you paid. But it's still that same concept of this is what percent of that. Now, I've got another problem that's a little more complicated that I've written down. Hold on a second. Now, this is called percent of your equity increase. And this is on the North Carolina real estate exam. It says here, you bought a $200,000 house with a 20% down payment. Five years later, your mortgage balance has decreased by $3,000. The house is now worth $220,000. It's appreciated in value or you've added something to it. And the question is, what percent has your equity increased? What percent has your equity increased? Now, I'm going to erase this question, so if you need to write it down, go ahead and write it down. Uh, I'm, actually, I think I want to erase it. I think I'll just grab the other board back. Because I'll stick that back up later if you need it. So, so the question is, how much has your equity increased? Well, first thing let's do is figure out how much equity you have. Well, you bought a $200,000 house and you put a 20% down payment, right? 20% of the 200,000, so you put $40,000 down payment, right? Let's subtract your 40,000, and by the way, the 40000 down payment is your equity. Equity is the difference between the value of the property and what you owe. So in this example, you owe $160,000. So what you owe, you have $40,000 in equity. Well, in the question it said, five years later, your balance has gone down from 160000 to 150,000. That's because of amortization, which by the way, we'll talk about how to do that. But your balance has gone down to 157,000 and your value has gone up to $220,000. So now you have a $220,000 house with a $157,000 mortgage. So how much equity do you have now, five years later? Well, let's see. $220,000 minus $157,000 
So now you have $63,000 in equity. You started out with $40,000 in equity. So the question is, what percent of your equity has gone up? I'm going to raise this. And so basically, let's see, what is this? Zero, 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 three. So your equity has gone up by $23,000. This, the increase, is what percent of your equity? Your equity is $63,000. So your equity is $63,000. So how much has your equity increased? Oops, I didn't do that right. Yeah, it's not the 63,000, it's the equity when you started. So you started with $40,000 equity. So your equity has gone up 23,000 is what is what percent of that this is what percent of that 23,000 your equity today is what percent of your equity when you started and the answer is clear the calculator 23,000 divided by 40,000 and the calculator says 0.575, which is 57.5%. So your equity has gone up 57.5%. This is what percent of that. This is what percent of that. So your equity has gone up 57.5%. And by the way, on the test, sometimes this number will be more than 100% because equity increases. Uh, that's why we say real estate is leveraged, and the leverage, which we'll talk more about that later. Anyway, I try to keep these short. I don't want to cover more than two or three concepts on each video. So let me just leave you on this one. You call me, you call me or you email me uh, let me remind you, Ron Clymer at yahoo.com if you want to send me a math problem. Now, as you know, I've got 10 other videos uh, on, on YouTube here. I cannot imagine you running into any math on the state exam, North Carolina state exam, that I don't have covered in these videos. In fact, if I do, you let me know and I will add it. But I want you to go back to that www.NorthCarolinaExam review and check that out. We sell that program uh, at a super duper bargain price of $99. And it is, if you do my math, do that, you're going to pass the North Carolina real estate exam. There's no reason that you wouldn't because there's nothing that's on there. So check me out if I can help you uh, uh, feel free to call me at this number and 828-440-1064 uh, um, this is Ron Clymer wanting you to pass the North Carolina real estate exam